Hey guys, welcome to the video. Today I'm just doing another mail opening and it's actually another Black Lantern mail opening as you can tell from this very thematic black box. Uh, this was another this is another set of Black Lantern, well, this is another Black Lantern technically figure, <laughs> but there's two figures in it. So this this was some some more Black Lantern figures I just picked up. They're one of the cheapest from the original run. So we're doing Black Lantern mail opening, but alas, still not the DC Multiverse ones. Still waiting for those in the UK. These are one of the cheaper ones from the original, like Blackest Night original figures. And it's it's Scar and Terror. Now, I could have bought these ages ago, and because uh, they've never really been worth much. And they were up to something like £24 was the cheapest, plus postage. And I was like, I'm really just not sure how bothered I am about getting them for that. And I'm sure I probably could have gotten them cheaper at some stage. We actually found one on bid by surfing the um, by surfing the, the most recent listings. We actually found one on bid. And we won this on the minimum bid, which was £12. So technically, we got this half price. And as you can see, it's a, it's a two-pack figure. It's kind of like when Big Show came with Rey Mysterio you know it was like neither of these figures are particularly big enough to be worth doing on their own let's do them together and it's uh Terra and Scar I don't think it's a very conventional pairing even in the context of Blackest Night but you know it's cool and this was a pretty good deal as well I'm interested to see what the articulation is like on Scar when we open that and the articulation on Terra is actually fine like it kind of looked on the pictures like maybe they were had maybe skimped out, not giving her some like leg articulation or whatever. But actually, it looked pretty in keeping with the rest of the line, the black hand, etc. So yeah, this has been sat waiting to be opened for like a week now. So it's good to finally get it opened, and uh, yeah, it'll probably be cool to get this NW opened as well, get the actual packaging opened because you know. We got this so cheap, and it's for our Black Lantern army, so we're probably never going to get rid of those, so we're probably quite happy to just whack that open. So hopefully that'll come sometime soon. You know, one thing I never really understood about Blackest Night, though, is uh, if the Guardians of Oa were worth shit, they might have realised they were going to get betrayed by someone who was called Scar. It's the same thing as the Lion King. Oh god, look at that, I didn't realise that big dent on the bottom. Oh, well we got to get you guys out there, it's not safe. It's not safe for you guys to keep living in there. We're going to have to pop you open. What's funny about this is they come with a big Black Lantern stand. I can't say no, but uh, it would be interesting to see if there's... I think there's just one... I think there's just one mount on it. So it's really big, and then the figure on it's going to be really small compared to the others. And the other one's just like, yeah, you go stand somewhere else. The second figure here is something I was putting off buying, and it's for that mixed martial arts like mixed universe thing I've been talking about a bit recently. Uh, it's just a daft thing I've been putting off buying and then I thought I'd treat myself to it uh, after I had my second Smith's payday because we got paid weekly. And these were a couple of pounds cheaper on Amazon than elsewhere so I picked it up there. If you watched Ethan Page's vlogs you might be familiar with this. Or you know if you know anything about toys you might be familiar with this. But yeah so pop this open. And now the box isn't as big. So, so on Ethan Page's vlog when he got this, I thought this box was enormous. Although I think it might be a different packaging. Because uh, I, I believe his was more like kind of bubble packaging. This is more like a box. It's still kind of bigger than I would have expected, I guess. But yeah, anyway. It's the Diamond Select Bruce Lee figure. And as I say, this is just going to be for doing daft silly animations against people like the hand ninja it's going to be all mma like mixed universe daft people probably only humanoids though this is a really cool figure you got the bruce lee obviously you got two different pairs of uh interchangeable hands uh we got the nunchucks in action if you want to pause it with that and it got the nunchucks that you know are just nunchucks as well as a staff as well and we got the bruce lee action figure decal on the back 80th anniversary of bruce lee 
The 20, year 2020 commemorates the 80th anniversary of Bruce Lee's birth. Yeah, I'm sure that's what everyone remembers it for. Uh, the dragon used in the logo comes from the front of a custom-made desk that Lee ordered for himself in Hong Kong. The dragon on the front of the desk was designed and intricately carved to his specifications. This 7-inch scale figure of Bruce Lee features 25 points of articulation, multiple interchangeable hands and accessories. And it is from Diamond Select, if I didn't say that already. And yeah, there's the figure on the back. There's a figure in the front. And there's one more thing that I think is worth mentioning in this mail opening. Because it's probably actually, it, it quite possibly actually came to me after Scar and Terror arrived. And this was a treat to myself after receiving my final proper universal credit payment. This is my new synthesizer. It's, uh, it's, it's kind of highly, highly regarded as a starter keyboard, but it does everything I want to do. Because in terms of synthesizers, I like just having keyboards. I like having preset options rather than having to fiddle around for ages trying to work out what you want to do. I understand why other people would want to do that, but I kind of just want to hear some nice sounds and write music with it. It's really easy to use. It's kind of lightweight. It was £239. It's very cheap and uh, it's very good quality for what it is. Because of work and also trying to start out another job, another video about that one day, I haven't really had much chance to play with this despite ordering it when I had two days off. It didn't arrive in time for the first day and then uh, I was kind of busy the second day and also not in a great mood. So it's kind of been put by the wayside but I'm going to play with it now, now that I've finished making videos for the day. Fans of the channel that will know how often I just end up not uploading anything for ages. I've actually created three videos today, the eBay recap, micro toy box opening and bruce lee mail opening they've all been done in the same day so now it's time to go and do some music and i don't think i've ever plugged my music on this channel before so if you would like to check that out it's just ben dring on all platforms look for profile pictures that look like this guy alternatively i'll put my link tree in the caption of the video and i'd love it if you guys could check that out you don't have to but uh if you want if you want to see me cry we do have more and more content on the way. I actually have quite a few toy hunts, like three or four toy hunts, just ready to be edited and uploaded. And that's not including the Sunderland, Edinburgh and Richmond and everywhere else travel, toy hunt and charity shop, etc. vlogs that I still haven't edited and uploaded. We do have a couple of toy hunts there. Problem there is it's kind of grueling to think about recording the audio and editing it and everything on your day off. So we'll just have to see what happens with those, but this should be turning up relatively soon. And like I say, we have the micro toy box opening to follow. The reselling videos just come out and I'm hoping to do more of them in the near future. And uh, yeah, we still got those DC multiverse figures to pick up at some, at some stage. So we're looking forward to getting them. And I'm hoping to end up opening a lot of stuff because I say this a lot, but I really am running out of space in here. I really need to get some more stuff opened. So yeah. The list of NW openings I need to do is almost at 80. I think it's at 79 or 78. And uh, quite frankly, there's almost certainly stuff I've missed off on that list. So, you know, we definitely could be... Uh, could have a lot of NW openings ahead of us. I also have a bunch of, like, old content, as I mentioned before. Uh, some of that is ready to be publicised and more of it is ready to be edited and stuff. So, yeah, there's a lot of content to come, guys. You're just going to have to bear with me because... Like I say, I'm still sort of settling into the job at Smith's and getting used to sort of managing my time off. And additionally, the channel hasn't had a lot of momentum since the first Black Lantern mail opening video, which you can check out here. And quite frankly, when I've not got very much time, it's not massively like energizing to go and try and stick to an upload schedule when you're just not really getting the views back that I was getting like just before that video came out. That was kind of the start of the downturn sort of thing. Uh, before Toy Hunt 6, Toy Hunt 6 was like good and then just went flat after that. So I don't want to like aggravate myself trying to stick to a uh, upload schedule. But, you know, it is what it is. Um, hopefully we'll be able to keep making videos, maybe just one a week or something. I've got plenty of backlog stuff though. So in the next week or so, there'll be plenty to put out, but I'm rambling on now. I'm definitely not trying to practice padding out videos to 10 minutes in case I get monetized. So I'll let you guys go. If you enjoyed this video, please do like, comment and subscribe. And if you enjoyed the mail opening, there are way more of them. As I always say, they will be in the playlist in the end screen. And thank you guys for watching and goodbye. I mean, just look at the state of this. 
I mean, it, there's three towers of figures now, a loose, this loose box, all this stuff. It's, it's like, it's, and this isn't even including the original towers of box deletes. I, uh, damn. We'll get there, guys. We'll get there. 80 NW openings to come.